In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Your sin to heal the contract part. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Guide your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall. May we be kept by your constant helps from all harm, directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphans plead. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sin be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they may be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goat out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from your crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. 
You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. I found it, uh, well, it wasn't prophetic, nor was it predictable yesterday. After we had heard the gospel that we reflected upon, the words, stop judging lest you be judged, stop condemning lest you be condemned, it was inevitable that you could have gone onto social media and you would have had certain, I call them the, the, the Twitter priest or the internet priest, coming out and saying, ah, you see, we should not judge people by their actions. And I thought it very interesting this morning when I was uh, first reading over the readings, we began by saying uh, to the words of uh, the Sodom and Gomorrah. And I thought, huh, that's interesting. Because the ones who were out there yesterday yelling the most, stop judging, stop condemning, were the ones that are out there promoting Sodom and Gomorrah. And it led me to wonder this thought, and I leave it to you to, to think about it with me. If, 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 if an action is condemned in the Old Testament, if that same action is condemned in the New Testament, if that same action is condemned in the tradition of the church emphasized in the catechism, if that same action is condemned by, by you, the sense, the faithful, for almost 2,000 years, that same action has been condemned. Then, is that an infallible teaching? A teaching that is free from error? You know, it really makes you wonder. And secondly, if all those entities, the Bible, the tradition, bishops, previous popes, lay people, if everybody prior to the last, let's say, few years, well, I'll be generous, last 50 years, said, yeah, no, that action is it's sinful, don't do it. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit is going to change his mind and say, well, now that upon further review, you know, yeah, let's go ahead. That's an acceptable life. That's an acceptable action. I don't know. I'm not really willing to, to stake my salvation upon something like that. But... I would just say, let's think about it, pray about it. Tell me what you think later. Now, mighty God be with you, may he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Bishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. The Lord our God. We pray for those who are sick and suffering in any way. We pray to the Lord. Our Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our parish families, the needs of the families who will be watching this Mass on video. We pray to the Lord. Our Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Don Riddle and his family for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Our Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, Father and, and to the Son. Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without the end. Amen.
Blessed for you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be the God of creation. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pray, brothers and sisters. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it may be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Song to 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 song Nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all things. You make holy, therefore, these gifts and pray us to down your spirit font of life which is all, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread out of giving thanks for it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in, he took the chops. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. I drink for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and protect your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have done this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died from the mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co heirs of eternal life. You may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us pray. 
May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devotedness of life and the constant health of your work of conciliation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended to go in peace. And with you, God. Prayer to St. Michael for our protection. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with only prayer. And you, Lord, who brings us to death and us, by the divine power, for us to the devil, save from all the other evil spirits who will wander through the world and the universe of our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit for everything, blessed be the great mother of God and the most holy, blessed be the holy man of conception, blessed be the Lord of the Son. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. And blessed be God, the Saint 